Okay, greetings and welcome back to more Bardic Adventures in Skyrim with Whispering. Um, it is uh, December 30th, and the last time I played, you might have noticed the face of my bard is different. And um, let me explain why. This was... Uh, the way, I believe, uh, how she originally looked when I first created her, um, if I'm remembering correctly, and at a certain point, um, I'm not sure what episode, but it changed, and the reason why is because I had a bunch of conflicts in the, um, the vortex with my mods, and even though it was still uh, working, you know, with, with the conflicts, there's certain things I, I was able to put like before and after what mod goes before, and uh, you know, one what mod goes before one mod and, and which one goes after. But there were a bunch where there were still question marks and there were still conflicts unresolved. And even though, like I said, it still worked, um, I, I wanted to try to minimize that, so I started messing around with it a little bit. And then I came across a, it was called like mod cycle redundance or something like that. So I had to do some kind of thing and, and f it's hard to explain, but um, it's kind of like when you, uh, if you have studied any kind of uh, electrical engineering, when you look at, I think they're called like flow charts. Um, and it shows which way the current's flowing. I had it where it was kind of going in a circle. So I had to kind of flip certain um, switches. And I, I don't know exactly what what it was I did, but it was something to do with the like tempered skin and the, um, uh, what was it? The, um, something else it was tempered skin and I can't remember what the other one was and it overwritten the, oh it was like Kali and its beautiful bodies and faces or something and it over I think the Kali and its over not overwritten overwrote the um, the tempered skin it was like something like that so my face looked different so, you know, whenever I'm going to external view like this to admire my face, I I was looking at the face and it looked different to me. And I just chuck, would always chalk that up to maybe it was just the lighting. But if you look at the other one, you'll see my face is truly different. And I re this is the way I remember my face looking when I was creating my character. Um, so, anyways, there's that. So, if some of you guys are wondering uh, what happened uh, that's the reason why and this face is just so much better okay so this is probably going to be a fairly short one uh, oh i have to turn on crosshairs i think everything else is mod I downloaded was, again, it's just really simple things, uh, and I feel as if it's things that just, just like with the torches, by the torches, I think it's it's something that just should have been there at the beginning. It's craftable linen wraps, and I could craft those uh, with, I think it's called tundra cotton, so I have to pick those up along the way. So I'm going to go back, and I just want to craft a tent um, using one of the tents from Tentapalooza so I'm just gonna travel back uh, to Whiterun and hopefully pick up some tundra cotton along the way and I love having uh, 
you know, a party. This really feels like a, a D&D campaign. And of course, these are all chicks. And the character I'm playing is a chick, of course. But then, oh, here, Tundra Cotton. I better put my uh, yeah, hood on. How because. many people does it take to screw a chandelier? I don't know, but it could be painful. You know, because you might fall and hurt yourself. <laughs> oh. These are... These guys like to party. They're revelers. Okay, good. Um... Police won't argue your ear off about which one should go first. Hail, my friends. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry army. soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, this but you look tired. Little, uh, Come, gloomy, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Why have one when you can have two? One, he two. Smears beard. You're one after my own heart. I would love another bottle. This good deed should not go unrewarded. Here, take this. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures Cheers. find you fame and well, fortune. Let's just pretend I poured it in my mug. I don't know why I would do that, but... Oh, okay. So let me... Try to find more tundra cotton along the way. Fare thee well, my friends. My my, I was going to say fellow revelers, but I'll say my fellow travelers. There's a bard, you know. There's, uh, can be like a, a few different things, you know. A bard is a, an adventurer, a traveler. And of course, a storyteller, a musician. Oh, nice, nice. few other games that I'd like to get back to um, so I, I mean I might not be getting back to this one as frequently although I, I still will be coming back to this one from time to time but the reason why is because when I originally started playing uh, Skyrim Anniversary I started with uh, Bat Tracks my uh, assassin character, and I want to, to continue with him. I also have my uh, necromancer as well, and my mage. Though I just but I started. Like or elves. Come to think of it, I'm not that fond of orcs, red guards, or imperials she just hates either. All races. Damn it. I always end up upsetting someone. Uh, Don't take it personal. And also, I've recently uh, gotten back into. Oh, now I'm full. That's okay. Uh, yes, I'm listening. Do I have a choice? Well, okay, but you owe me. enjoyed a little chat I recently I've uh, gotten back into the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall so I have to squeeze that into the mix you know, into my uh, rotation of games and then of course uh, occasionally uh, getting back to this one and um, there'll probably come a time where I'm gonna put uh, my 
Khajiit assassin on hold again and then be more focused on my bar. So it will, Do you seek you know, to my, make a my, purchase? My uh, character focus, so the, the character I'm focusing on will, Take a look. you know, will vary from time to time. Sometimes it could be the, the bard or the assassin or the necromancer or the mage. So, but even if I'm not focused on, you know, say the the, the necromancer, I'll still every once in a while get back to him. I think it's uh, Isolde, I think was uh, looking for that. May your road lead you to warm sands. Words. And yet, my body shakes with it. So to bring one man at the top. Control yourself. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, yes, wait a minute. Of course, you are right. Still, oh, I this should keep my eyes open. Even hold. a few grains of fears warn us from your presence. Put the thought out of your mind and do not speak of it. to give Sophia boots. Bring a smile to this one's eyes and peace to his eyes. Yes, I'm listening. A small token of appreciation. Good and yeah, where of all time. I take it by trade you mean dump all your useless junk on me. Fine. Want to trust me with that? If you say so. Yes, go. let's go. I wanted to look up because she's going to be absolutely naked. <clears throat> Forgive me again if I'm a little out of energy. It is like 2.41 in the morning. Drinking some mocha. Okay, you need guys a blade. need to move this quartz. Talk to Adrian at the forge. But it's kind of in the way. Why must I be limited to? Huh? Too heavy for me. Rack as well. 
Very good. Good job. There's another tanning rack somewhere. Maybe wow, the companions it's a fine are. Day with you around. Uh, yeah, You're the best. Can you be my okay, mother? Let me see. Maybe. This bears blessing. Maybe I could find a, a mammoth tusk from Bellator. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything's for. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do come back. Oh, good, good. She's done with the tanning rack. What are you doing that for? Sorry, just sorry. Um. So I'm all ears. Well, huh, you're no fun. I'm glad that's sorting. Got some no, good pieces busy. out here if you're looking oh, by. Wow. More inside. Deal with the blacksmith inside. <clears throat> We've got Greetings. small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. The finest weapons and armor. Good doing business with you. Are you 
still working at the Bannered Mare in the evenings, old Fina? And why shouldn't I? Just because I'm a grey maid doesn't mean I can't earn my own key. I do mean I'm sorry I asked. Michelle, I'm looking for Tundra Ooh, rather Company. Pale. Could be a taxia. Take a look. Which you don't have. Come back any time okay. if you need a remedy. All right, I may have to go outside. And I've got a hard some. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard oh, is the really? worst. I'm a bard, but. Uh, so will this bard is giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting hmm. at the bannered mare saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> Something I also noticed is it not only made my face, you know, the way I um, uh, did the, the priority thing, and uh, you know my my mod load order and I you know, did the which one over overwrote which mod. Um, it changes NPCs uh, faces as well and skins because I mean just look at her. So what if I speak to this Mikkel on your behalf? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his though. Hmm. Okay. I should Remember, try. fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Yeah, I'm. I just looking to. I hope you're looking at me like that because you want to buy brown. something. I need Thanks for the business. Yeah, but mercy on me and spare a few seconds. Oh, that's by the fishing. Wow, look at that rope. Are you a wizard? Okay. Buy I need to I will. find. God knows it's been too long since uh, I take new attire. Here. I keep getting mistaken for a robe because of Welcome. the robes I've Let using, me know like if you want anything. Mage robes. I think I got a clean mug okay, around here somewhere. Mikhail? I'm a bard by trade. Yes, Perhaps yes. you've heard of me. Um, yeah, I need to speak to you about leaving Carlotta Valenti Valen Valencia uh, alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry. Yes. But that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know. Jesus, that's sexual harassment, you know. Um, she's not yours, so please, you need to stop this nonsense. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one lass. No, On my honor, that way. I won't bother Carlotta ever again. I improved my speechcraft as well, so I love it. Okay. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. Okay, so, well, maybe I should let her know. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really <clears throat> the only thing I care about. Yeah, I spoke to Mikkel, you know, and he won't be giving you any trouble anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? That I did. I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Hey, Gavanna. That's plenty of coin. Thank you. And, yeah, I would like to do business, but I guess Fresh your clothes are coming in. Oh, I guess, yeah, it makes sense. You're sweeping. She has yeah, the blessings look different.
Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Have you seen that wimpy kid around White Run? Can you believe he gets picked on by a little? Be girl? glad you're here in the city and not yeah. out in Riverwood. And this is why I take Sophia with me. I know a lot of people um, can get annoyed by her. And to be quite honest, I, I get a little no annoyed uh, with her myself, but uh, she has such interesting, unique dialogue, and she's like really reactive to her environment and like current events and what's going on. So that right there just adds, you know, to the immersion of the game. Uh, a lot of the stuff she says could be uh, like sexual innuendo and sexual jokes. Um, yeah, that can't be helped. I know you can change how frequently she speaks if you had an MCM, which I do not because, well, as you can see, you know, I have a regular menu. I, I don't have uh, a script extender installed and I don't have Sky UE installed. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I know there's problems with it. Uh, there's like some beta version of it. Of the Sky UE and the SKSE for uh, anniversary edition, but even back then it was giving me problems, crashing me to desktop. Uh, you know, whenever I would open my map indoors after loading indoors, so uh, I'm okay with this. You know, I'm okay with the menu looking, you know, like this, and it's still pretty nice because the the letters are all nice and big. So. I'm okay with that. So I do not have the uh, benefit of an MCM. And uh, it kind of sucks a little bit, but it's okay. It's not absolutely necessary. What I wish they did was, upon installing Sophia, they had a choice at the beginning to pick uh, how often she comments. Kind of like with uh, Recorder Overhaul, it did that. So. I wish uh, there was something like that for Sophia, or maybe there's a, a mod. I, I looked and I, I didn't find one, but hopefully someone will eventually come up with a mod for Sophia where uh, you're able to maybe control how frequently she speaks and uh, maybe how closely she can follow, and um, that pretty much would go for all the followers, but do that either during install, uh, have like a menu, or do it through conversation. Goths be praised. Similarly to um, convenient horses, which I do have installed, by the way. Just trying to focus mostly on finding the cotton. <clears throat> God's blessings on you. People think women are vain for trying to look good. Just because men are lazy and don't even bother having a watch doesn't mean we are vain. Having having a watch? How do you know? What is a watch? aren't supposed to exist in you know, this fantasy setting, you know? Oh god, I just love that. Look at that. You guys, yeah, the mod, I, if you really want to make your waters look like as realistic as it can for a game, you get, you gotta get uh, real waters too. It's so good. And see how you can differentiate the water that's flowing like a river and one where it's just like a pond, you see? How it's not moving as much, it's not flowing. Can 
be sunset. Look at that. And the sun goes down on my side of town. Only feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know the, the lyrics to it, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you lose your one and only, there's always room here for the lonely. To watch your broken dreams dancing in and out of a beam of a neon moon. Yeah, you know, um, I received a comment from a really nice guy, uh, and it was a really nice comment, and he said he liked my role-playing style and how I uh, interact in dialogue with the NPCs. It's, it's just something fun for me, and, you know, I'm, and I hope you guys in, enjoy seeing that, but it just makes it, you know, a bit more, quite a bit more immersive to me. And, um, you know, he mentioned how it just reminded him of D&D &D back I in the day. And I remember playing that back in the day those as well. Clothes. Even with me um, around, you wouldn't last a few seconds. I guess just a little history lesson on me. He um, sends a cold, but <clears> your <throat> feels is, warmness uh, from your presence. When I was really young, like a young teen, uh, I didn't have a lot a smile of playtime in D&D. It was heart. just... Take this. Maybe like a few a token of short times that I've played. Um, it wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I started uh, playing it. And I played it for maybe a little over a decade. And uh, then my DM got a heart attack, or a stroke rather. And he's his whole right side Doors, of his body is paralyzed. He's all for suffering from prices. aphasia. He's very aphasic. So his his mind is not really as sharp. Warm so um, How that this one so we weren't able to play. So I haven't played in years. Oh, hold on, I, I got this first. Um, yes. But see how I was looking at that sunset, and as great as it is to play D and D, you know, with a bunch of friends, um, what you have over this is the visual aid, big time. I mean, you can really see. The sunset it's one thing to have it described to you come, and that's great and see what that's great I hope. but to see it with thine own eyes is My truly a sight to behold gorgeous moon, the lighting and it everything has been too long since I and to me this is what makes for a wow. truly fantastically so immersive it's experience it's so much dialogue over my ears hear the truth in your words and yet the body shakes with the need. Control okay. yourself. Mm -hmm. Do not frighten away our customers with your fits. Yes, of course, you are right. Still, I would give much for even a few grains of moon sugar. Hey, what's the thought out it's of your mind? Oh, okay, so I need to speak of it again. Leather strips and leather. Okay. like a flaw a bug or something welcome to you I really, I really think it's uh, Sophia just randomly giving me gold oh yes I'm Take looking for leather or perhaps I have a pelt that I could um, I could uh, oh, what do you call that uh, not knead, like knead into leather or uh, like kneading the dough, but that's not the word. Uh, that I could 
turn turn the pelt into a leather. There's a word for that. I can't remember. I think it's like that uh, a pelt that I could process into refine that I can refine into leather. That's the word refine. Skyrim uh, might be hungry. a cold place with miserable people, but after a few drinks, you don't really notice. Speaking of which, I'm getting a little thirsty. <laughs> Did I file all the combat records yet? Sure, let me take some of that weight. All right, back to organizing for me. I do I've got your back. Come, come and see what do you want about? me to carry? Let's get going then. Need something? Take a look. Yeah, it turns out I'm gonna need. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. But it cannot be helped. Perhaps if we continue to show that we can be trusted, they will open their cities to our caravans. <laughs> I wish Bring that I had your optimism. This one's eyes and peace to his heart. Take this. A small token of appreciation. Talk to me. Create follow tents as well. Duels, wares, and weapons, all for sale at fair prices. Far I am to bring you these fine goods. Come and see what I love. Hey, this is good. This one. It's something. Okay, so let's see. This will pretty much do it. Uh, hey! Oh. Wow. and wares of all kinds, and all can be yours. Smile to this one's eyes and peace to his heart. A small token of appreciation. Okay, we have to be a little bit further back. Yeah, this is a nice open area. Getting just gold. I get a hmm. lot of looks from people wherever I go. I'm not sure if it's because they find me attractive or be they think I'm a little odd, or both. Is 
it? Yes, I'm listening. I rather enjoyed a little chat. I wonder if it has something to do with me being a bard and getting old like that. Okay. Of course, the lighting was a little bit brighter, but we have this. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is not good. C careful! I almost dropped all the files. Okay. Back that up. That's pretty bad. You know, I can see the terrain much better. Here we go. Good. Okay, yeah. So I shall, yeah, I like this. See the tents that came with, uh, <clears throat> with the campfire complete camping system? Uh, mod, uh, they, were, they were good, really good tents, but what I love about this is, oh, it has, um, just little attention to details, you know, like, uh, see this leather pack hanging over here and all this stuff Imagine here. Imagine you know, if I really was nice. Dragonborn. The term shouting There's would the, take on an entirely new meaning. Look at that. The, um, Ashlander one, which now is the one I kind of wish I, I went with. I know what that one looks like. It has even more stuff. It has, like, a, a shelf. It has a more circular look. And uh, it's not just a sleeping bag. Like, I think the follower one is a sleeping bag, but yours is, I think, even though this is a really nice looking sleeping bag, uh, it's like a, a fold out, um, like a, a, a futon kind of bed. Really nice. Okay, so, anyways, I will end it here. Sorry that, you know, really not. A, a lot was going on in this one. It was just mostly me picking cotton and uh, what's on your uh, mind? Crafting a tent and testing out the tent. But you know, I gotta say, I still really like this look. Yeah, I love it. Now, where are my other followers? Okay, so she's just out there. And okay, and yeah, it doesn't have collision. That's why you're able to kind of walk through it. But it can't be helped, so I just I simply don't walk through it, you know, just to suspend your, uh, to continue to suspend your disbelief. Oh, look, and there's a shovel here. Yeah, it's these nice little attention to details that I love with the tent palooza. Or I don't know where to go to learn more tents. Uh, I hear that there's a, um, Do you have something to say? Like a mage tent, where it's like a, a dome and it's like a, a shield. Think. Um, uh, Doctor Strange, like a domed shield, right? Uh, so that's really interesting, and I'd like to get that for my mage. Uh, very uh, fitting. 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna look on the outside of this. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Hope you all enjoyed and happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and everyone has a Happy New Year. Uh, just like one more day to go. So, uh, God, look at this lighting. I'm just gonna probably take this all in and sit here and just chill, enjoy this uh, view and beautiful, uh, breathe, breathe in the beautiful night air stare at the beautiful night sky. I wish there were stars, but that's okay. It's been cloudy all day. Um, yeah, and that's it. The dawn will come.